In this video, we're going to continue with string manipulation, and we're going to look at another example, this example 2. In the first example, we took text that had a whole bunch of data separated by a particular type of symbol, like a comma. In this example, we're going to do the same thing, except for now we've got a whole bunch of different symbols and stuff like that, and there's special rules on how the data is created. So, for example, there's always going to be one letter after the dollar sign, which will be whatever the, um, the gender is, and then the age will be the next two numbers. So let's work out how we're going to extract all this information into variables so we can display it individually. So I'm going to double click on the extract button, and here we've got some information. Here we've got the input done for us. All of that information is, all that code is being put into a variable called scode. And I'm going to p try get that information, the surname, the name, the gender, and the age, and then I try extract it into the following variables which I've created. So that's what I'm wanting to try to do. Okay, so I've created them all for you. So I'm going to start with the surname. That's going to be probably the first one that I can start off. And it's going to be very similar to what we did in the previous video. I'm going to first find the position of the hash because the hash tells me when the end of the surname occurs. I can't just copy for five characters because maybe the code that is given has a different length surname. Maybe it's long. Then, like, I mean, just my surname, like L O N G. Then it's only four characters. So, we're going to, I've got a variable here called our hash, which is of type integer, because I want to get the position of that hash symbol. So, our hash equals to the position of the hash symbol, and I put it in double quotes. It's what I'm looking for. And then, where am I looking for it? I'm looking for it in S code. And that, in this case, will return the position of the hash, which in this case is going to be a six. Because position 6 is the hash. So now if I want the surname, the surname is going to be, or well not surname, S surname, is going to be, and we're going to copy from this string called S code, starting at position 1. So we're going to start at position 1, but we want to copy, oh, it's going funny here. Start at position 1. We want to copy from 1 till the hash minus 1, just before the hash. So we're going to go to r hash minus 1. If I don't put that minus 1 in there, then it's going to put the surname with the hash at the end of it. And let's see if that works. If I display that, I'm just going to comment this part out to test if it works. And there we go. If I just want to show you, if I didn't put that minus 1, what it would look like. Because it would copy the whole surname as well as the position of the hash, which means there's a hash there. And you're like, who's surname Smith hash? It's ridiculous. You know, when we put a hash in the front, if you want to do a hash tag. But now we do minus one like that. Okay, so we've got the surname. Now, for the name, it's going to probably be easier for me just, just to get rid of all this part here. So if I do that, then at least I can do something very similar to this and extract the name. So I'm just writing here what the surname being extracted. And then I'm going to say delete from S code. And I'm not too stressed about deleting S code because I can always get it back from the edit control. So there, delete from S code starting at position 1 to the R hash. Now, I don't put a minus 1 now because I don't just want to delete the surname. I also want to delete the surname and that little hash there. So that's why I delete till position 6, which is the position of the R hash. And then I am going to be left with this as my s code that's what s code is going to look like so i've extracted the surname well done mr long now let's get the first name it's going to be very similar to what i did here so i'm just going to copy all of this and i'm going to extract it but the only difference now however let me put a semicolon there i think that's my error there only thing is now i don't want to find the position of the hash i want to find the position of the dollar i've got a variable called r dollar of type integer and instead of r hash i'm going to use r dollar and so instead of looking for the position of the hash i'm going to look for the position of the dollar in s code and in this case it's going to be position four then i'm going to copy into not s name but not s surname but into s name from one till the position of the dollar minus one that's very similar so copy from the position of the dollar minus one so name is going to have or s name is going to be just joe that's great. Now, you could delete everything up until the dollar. That's one way of doing it. You could do that. 
um, that's if you want to or you could just extract everything after that I'll probably keep with my routine here and delete everything up until the dollar so I'm going to be left with just the M45 and now I can display name and so now I'm going to go oh the errors what are my errors it says surname is incorrect mem display oh because I haven't put a semicolon over there I'm forgetting my semicolons. I'm just, it's a printing error. I'm just checking to see if you guys are awake. So if I do that, Smith and Joe, that's great. Now, how do I get just that M? This is what's left over after I deleted the stuff in front of it. Well, that's just one character. And there's always going to be one character. It's never going to be two or more. So I know it's always going to be one character. So I could use a copy from S code from starting at position one for one character. Or I could simply use S code square bracket one because that would tell me what that is but I don't want to display M or that I actually want to display gender so I'm going to use an if statement yeah so if S code position 1 if that is equal to the character M then my gender must equal to or well not gender S gender that's the variable there must equal to male and if it's not that else S gender is equal to female should probably make it a capital letter there we go so there we go I've extracted just the first letter of the, the what's left over of S code so it'll be just the M and checked if it's an M then display male else it's a female now how do I get the rest of it well I just want to get what's left after that string so I'm going to copy so I'm going to say RH is equal to copy from S code. Now, where do I want to start? Well, I want to start at position two. Okay. Now, most ages are only going to be two characters long, but you never know. There could be someone that's 100 or 101, so we're never going to be 100% sure. So I'm going to copy for three characters at least. So I don't think anyone's going to go up to 1,000. Let's hope not, because they're going to live a very long life and live outlive Delphi, probably. So I'm going to copy for three characters. Now, although there's no third character, if there's nothing there, it just, it just won't copy that. It'll just copy what it can. So it's going to copy from S code, starting at position two for three characters. That's not from position two to position three. No, that's not what copy does. It copies from position two for three characters. So if this is 101, it will still work for that scenario. The only problem with this is copy returns a string. It's a string function, and r age is an integer. So I must just remember to convert this from a string to an int so that it fits into r age. And hopefully that works. If we can just delete all these comments, we can run it. And if we display it, there we go, urethra. I mean, Rika, it's all the information that we want is there. So, great. So let's have a look again. So we've did something very similar, finding the position of the hash and copied up until the position of the hash and then delete all the stuff before it over there. Then for the name, because we were just left with this as our S code, we found the position of the dollar and extracted everything up until one before the dollar and then deleted everything up until the dollar. And then when I'm left with this little string over there, I could just extract each individual letter manually by doing something like that. Square bracket, the number that you want to refer to. And then our age was from position two onwards. And then we just did the right conversions to display it. For the other videos in this video series with other examples, please go to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter to get updates whenever we update new videos. Or you can go to our newly designed website where you can see all the videos in the order that uh, they are intended to be shown. It looks something like that. We hope that you like our new format. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.